Hey there guys, this is Phoenix Nell here, and today I am going to do a bio video, basically all of my life. So, here goes. Well, my real name is actually Holly Beatty. Um, I use Phoenix Nile as my pen name because, um, <laughs> well, a long time ago I had a dream about a phoenix. And I just thought, why not use Phoenix? And Niall came from a um, favourite character of a book, their last name. Anyhow, um, I was born in Aberdeen, Scotland, which is right on the coast. So I'm like right at the seaside. Um, I've always lived here. Um, I am 17 years old. I turned 17 on January the 18th. I was born in 1995. I'm a Capricorn. And I was born at 1 p.m. I have no idea what moon sign it was, but yeah, that's <laughs> not really important to me. Um, according to my astrology chart, I am on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius, so I hold traits of both signs, which makes me more interested. Um, well, I went to primary school here, and well, I was at the side for seven years, which is all through primary. Then I went to St. Macker for my academy years. I am currently still at school. I am in my um, sixth year, which is my final year of high school. Um, I'm currently studying three subjects, advanced higher art and design, higher English, and higher history. Um, I have recently applied to university. I have applied to Fine Art Painting at the University of Glasgow, the School of Art there, the Royal School of Art in Edinburgh, and the Grey School of Art at Robert Gardens University in Aberdeen. Um, let's talk about primary school then. Well, primary school, to it was pretty boring for me, you know. I was just a normal girl, you know, I didn't really... I wasn't any like major like cliques or anything, you know. I well, I was Bash Memory six seven. Um, I was the um, co well co founder of the Goth Club. Oh, it's going by makeup today. You probably would have guessed, but <laughs> but my dress sense, you know, I wear quite normal clothes as you can see. But yeah, I was member of the Goth Club because we had well every year a um not a library but like a travelling bookshop came to our school and I found this like a journal book and it was called Girl Goth Guide and to be honest it kind of like a book of shadows actually like there was like spells and that in it as well you know, it was like I don't know I had a book on it to be honest it's probably why it called to me to be honest to be honest I, know, I say to be honest way too much anywho yeah so I was in the goth club you know there was like a goth singing songs and <laughs> uh, we played goth games and like we made goth friendship bracelets. There was about well, there was a few people in the group, you know, a couple of guys and a couple of girls. And you know what? It's actually a really good year being a part of that. Um, during primary, I did a lot of things, you know. Um, I was in girls' brigade, which for those who don't live in Scotland or even. Britain, to be honest, I think they have it all over. Girls' Brigade, not the branch of the brigade, there's like the boys' brigade as well. Basically, it's a group of girls where you learn. Basically, it's like, a, it's like guides of brownies and all that, but it's a bit more military esque. Basically, we learn to march and do like drill, which I was the, I was the captain of marching. I was quite impressed with that, you know. I got my group, well we won quite a lot of competitions for marching, it's me as the lead, <laughs> um, we did like choir competitions, we danced, we um, like paint, did paintings and stuff, we did a lot of artwork, um, we had a yearly open night where we would um, choreograph and perform different routines, we would do our marching, which I led, <laughs> we would sing songs, you know, a lot of different things within it. Girls' Brigade was epic. 
I was in Girls Brigade from four years old to about, I think I was, I was eight, nine. I could have been older, but you know, it's been a while. Um, the next thing that I was part of was I did dancing. I was a member of the Edith Duncan School of Dance in Aberdeen. I must have started there when I was about five or six. Excuse me. So I really dried up. Um, yeah, five or six. I studied ballet, tap, Highland, modern, national, and jazz. Now you may think a lot of dancing for a kid. Yeah, it was. I mean, I was. Well, for example. Um, over here we have school Monday to Friday, from 9 o'clock well, from primary school to 9 to half past 3. And I dancing on a Monday night from 4 o'clock to half 6. I had it on a Thursday night from 4 to half 6. Um, and I had it on a Saturday from 9am in the morning until half past 3 in the afternoon. Now. Oh, and also Wednesday from 4 to half 6. You know, that's a lot of work for a kid. And, well, most of all, the weeknights, well, apart from the Thursday, it was just ballet, tap, and modern. The rest of it we did at the weekends. Oh, sorry, yeah, Highland as well on the weekdays. And I, I loved it, to be honest, because I've always been a dancey person, you know? I did all my dancings up to... Well, I did, I did tap, Highland, modern, national, and jazz up to grade six, and I did ballet up to intermediate foundation. Now I did dancing all the way up until I was eleven. Made me think ballet to that level at eleven years old is quite it's quite hard actually. Most people do the, the foundation are like 15, 16. But I was a quick learner and I did a lot I, I danced quite a lot, you know, I was there most nights of the week practicing so I had the time to perfect all my skills and I did all my exams. Um and now also in primary school this is busted dancing. I played on the school football team. Um <laughs> I was the only girl on the football team, which was a bit strange. Um, <laughs> I mean, like the coaches were male, all the members were male. Oh, it was, just, it was mental. So I really dry throat. I've been singing all day. And also, yeah, so I had um, put down on Monday night at quarter to seven until half past seven. And, you know, it was really good, you know? I liked football. I was also a football fan. Um, I support Aberdeen Football Club. Also known as the Dons. Um, okay, they're play playing pretty shit at the moment, but yeah, I love them. Anyway, um, also while they did dancing and football, I took up Taekwondo, which is a form of martial arts from Korea. Now, I did martial arts. Um, I well, did it out on a Monday night, a Thursday night, and it was from half seven until half nine. Which made me thinking, wait, so she did that like a Monday night? She did dancing from ha from four o'clock till half six, then football from quarter to seven till half seven, then take one to half seven till half nine. Bloody hell! Yeah, it was an awful, awful lot, you know. At the time, I was really fit. I was doing all this working out, and on a Monday night, I wouldn't get any like for my tea until ten o'clock at night. And I was only primary school, so it was a lot of work. I did taekwondo up until I had a red belt and a black and white tag, which is one below black belt. I really liked taekwondo. Um. It was a good way to like burn off some steam. Um, I learned a lot of self-defense tips and stuff, and general fitness. And I also learned to count in Korean there. 
that I will show you. Hana, doll, set, net, tacit, yacet, ilgot, yellow, aha, no. Okay, you learn more than one thing at martial arts. <laughs> but yeah, eventually I gave up the football and the dancing to pursue taekwondo, which I regret because I ended up leaving taekwondo about six months later. <laughs> And if I continued to dance, I would have been doing to this day, you know, I would have been doing my, like, advanced foundation and all that. I uh, could have been, I have done anything with it. But, you know, things happen. Um, where are now? So, is that my last year at primary school? I, well, I, was in, I played in the netball team. I know it was more stuff for me to do. Um, yeah, the netball. It was an all-girls team, and we practiced at lunch times at school, and we competed all over Aberdeen against other um, schools. Um, I didn't have a fixed position because I could play most. My favorite position would have to be goal shooter. I was quite good for my aim, you know. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> but a lot of time I was always placed in center, or like wing attack. But you know, I don't really. Blah. It didn't really matter to me because I enjoyed all positions to play. Um, right. Primary 7. You know, the last year from primary school before you go into academy. It's a daunting year, you know, you've got the, the end of your, like, younger life, you're maturing, you're getting older into the next part. And I, well, my friend Megan at the time, she's my best friend at the time, she, her, her stepmom, played in a pipe band. Her mom piped and Megan was learning to play piano drums. And you know she was like, oh yeah, it's really good, she come along. And I thought, hmm, pipe band, pipes, drums, you know. It's like okay, I'm Scottish, I can do the Highland dancing, I have ginger hair, but do not play the pipe band? And then I thought, you know, what what I could be actually quite cool, you know, I might like it. So I went along. And I thought, I'm going to do pipes. So my dad had a chanter, which is the first part you learn with. And he gave me that. And I went in. And I remember walking in and the pipe major at the time was playing his pipes. And he turned around and he smiled when he was playing. And I don't know, something about the sound of the pipes just, it called to me in a way, you know. And I thought, yeah, this is what I want to do. So I started going to lessons. I went every Monday night, half seven till half nine, and I'm still there to the day. Um, it took me about two years to learn the chanter. Well, not learn the chanter, learn, learn all the basics for about a year, but after that you can learn all the different tunes that sets that play the band, because, well, when I like, joined, they had started getting a new set, but every time that I was trying to get into the band, they would learn new songs, so I had to go and learn them before I could get into the band, so it was quite a hassle. But after the two years, I eventually... Well, I had my pipes in that at the time, and I was learning to play them as well. And I got put in the band, and it was the most scariest experience of my life. I mean, you know, just going into a group of adults, I mean, they were all... Well, there was a one person, not at the time there was three people under the age of 18, apart from me, and the rest were all over 20, and I was like, ah, this is so scary, it would have made a mistake, and they'd like laugh at me or something, you know, but I went in and I, oh, I fucking enjoyed it, and well, I've competed all over Scotland with pipes, you know, I've played, I think like I played the Scottish Championships, the World Pipe Band Championships, which is actually on TV, um, I've played at the Cowboy Championships, the European Championships, um, British Championships, I've played at Highland Games, I've played for weddings, I've played at a few funerals, I've piped at corporate events. I've done a lot with piping. You know, I've seen a lot of places that I never thought I'd see. Um, I've met a lot of amazing people. You know, some people I've met. Ugh, that I'm great friends with now, you know. It's just been a really good experience. And I just love pipe band. 
Um, I'm just thinking about something now. All I want first year. Well, it's on my throat. It's killing me. Speaking. It's all speaking. Anyway, first year. Oh, it was scary. Going to a brand new school. No high school. Um, all people older than me. But you know, I settled in quite quickly. I had my friends from high school, and I met a few other people. And well. I joined a few clubs, like the art club and the science club, which is quite geeky, I know. 